Hey guys and welcome to my first look on Shamrock Valley by Oxygen David of Frontier Designs. This has been a very anticipated map. It is based in Ireland. It is a fictional area, but it is based in Ireland. So here is the minimap. Definitely something that I was not expecting to see from Oxy. A lot smaller than he has been known to do in the past. So there is plenty of grass fields. There's a few arable fields. You've got a nice little island with a river cutting through it there going out into the ocean. And sort of a seasidey feel to it, which he has been well known from Sandy Bay. So as most of these guys' maps, we are going to start off in the house. So this is what he presented with. A nice front room. Take a look around. Pictures of Oxygen David's favourite tractor, Fergie Grey. A nice old clock. Log fire. All of that good stuff. Magazine down there. But this view, just look at it. Let's even open the windows. There we go. Let's get the breeze coming through. A nice sea breeze. That view is just stunning. That is what this map is awesome for. Nice textures on the ceiling. And of course you've got lights. Oxy is a fan of trains and aeroplanes as well. And that's not just me proclaiming that. It's, it's a true. Nice floor going down here. Some more scenery. So some of the stuff, more scenery, more uh, stuff as far as that goes. Some stuff I will skip by. Office area for the house. And what is this we see? Shamrock Valley loading screen. <laughs> Pretty funny. FS19 screenshot as a mouse mat. France. And London old photos there. Really cool. Bookcases. Clock. And in here is a closet for the vacuum cleaner. We'll shut that door up. Doors are very funky on this, as far as that goes. Here we find the kitchen, which, of course, any good Irish map needs. Cans of Guinness. I approve. And again, the view. Just look at that. Beautiful. Big old sink. Toaster. Kettle. And let's go upstairs. Many, many rooms up here. Now, I've not actually been upstairs before. Uh, master bedroom by the looks of it. Again, tractor magazines laying around. Some pictures like uh, downstairs. Open this door. We have the bathroom. It was mostly laugh. These guys modeled the bathroom. Uh, this room again. Okay, maybe this is the master. It's got the TV. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Panda bear picture there. Again, the view with the opening windows. And someone left a nugget on the toilet. They really need to clean up after themselves. Anyway, moving on. Again, lights and all of these. What's in here? <laughs> this is a huge house. Holy crap. Are we even going to get out of here? It's like a maze. And in this one, ah, the office. And presumably that's mimicking the one downstairs. Yep. And of course we have Oxygen David of Frontier Designs. That's cool. So here is his office. This is where the magic happens, I guess, for the uh, model. Pretty cool. So I think that's everything in the house I've covered. Uh, that's actually the first time I've looked upstairs before. Another nice picture there. Uh, let's go... Uh, how on earth do we get out of here? Oh, the dining room. There's a dining room in here. Nice. And there's a door here. So we'll exit the back. Tradesman's entrance. Around the back. So we'll go to the front and again, just look at that. i got to admit, that's really cool with the windows open. I presume all of them open. Really cool. So, uh, there is... Where shall we go? The farmyard. So you can see where we are on the map. Open up the gate. I will go through the starter equipment. So we've got a lizard pickup truck. That is what we'll be rocking around with. So I'm going to start tabbing through the vehicles. We've got the lizard pickup truck. We have the New Holland T590. We have the New Holland 8340. And we have the Massey Ferguson. What model is this one? 5610 drop nose, and I believe that's all the tractors. He's kept it fairly simple on this map. So we'll take a quick walk around 
the yard here. This is the cow yard. So you may recognize these buildings from Oakfield. And I'm not sure who did a lot of the modeling on this map. I think it could have been Oxy, but I'm not 100%. Uh, likewise, the gates and stuff like that. I don't know if they're his own or whose they are. So I can't really say uh, give credit where credit's due on this one, unfortunately. I don't know. I actually really do not know a whole lot on this map, to tell you the truth. I have been one of the testers, so I've been testing it for Oxy. Uh, both me and Rainbow Dave and a few of the other guys on Frontier. Of course, it is a summertime, so everyone's busy with various different stuff. Nice grate down there. More barns. More barn. This has got the mower, two weights, and the four furrow plow. So that is pretty much covered this yard. Of course, you've got the dairy here. Oh, what's this over here? Actually, let's speed up. Zoom around a little more. Header trailer, uh, trailer, cedar, and the round bale of that. Both me and D Dave kind of agree. I don't know if that map, uh, that cedar really suits this map, but each to their own. Slurry tank or slurry area, uh, place for you, put your manure. More junk laying around, which is pretty cool. And that is, I think, this whole yard. So, without further ado, let's go investigate the map. So we'll head out of here, and we'll go down to my favourite location on this map without a shot. Actually, this isn't the end. exit. Can you tell I've not played this map much? That's an entrance to a field. Uh, that is some gates. GG. Here is the entrance. So something Goxy has done here is made the lines yellow for as most uh, as much as possible on Shomarak Valley. The outer side lines in Ireland are yellow, centre lines are white. And we do have a nice big placeable area. We'll start up up here. I believe this map will is intended to be converted to FS19. So you got a big place bullet and spoiler alert, another nugget. So we'll go back down. Whoa, we got a lot of air there. And we will take a cruise down up here. What's up here? That is forest. Oh no, that is a track up to field one. So here is Gypsy Hill stores. Scan your truck, Renault Magnum, fertilizer, all that stuff, obviously, a sow point. Now, as I say, there's some parts of the map that I don't, I will not cover, plain and simple, because of I like letting people exp explore it themselves. Welcome to Shamrock Valley. And, of course, I'll just jump out, getting a bit correct with sort of where the main farm is, so stuff to do with the map. Main farm, vehicle store, Gypsy Hill stores, Balamori stores. What's the story I wonder down there? And Malamore's farm store, did I say it right? Hopefully. And you got the Limerick, Donegal, and various different places like that. I almost tried to get into that car. And we turn right here into the John dealership, the RBM Agricultural Limited. So we've got some John Deere models down here. Again, I think this map is supposed to be on consoles. We don't know right now on um, testing for consoles and how long stuff's going to be the turnaround. So I have no idea when this is planned on released. That is down to Giants and when he uploads it. I truly don't know, guys. So we'll take a wander in here. We've got some, well, we've got a 6R a set of discs. Obviously, your menu to buy and sell some stuff. God knows what map that's from. That's Cephas 13, I think, the golf course. Same desk and everything as before. Now, as me as I did, you maybe look around here going, where's the cell point? Hmm. I did for a while and then I got told by Rimba Dave. Go to the garage door. Open the garage door. And there we have it. The workshop. Pretty cool actually. Blends in very nicely. So here is the uh, workshop vehicle stool and all that good stuff. Another scan you. So, as I've said, I don't think the that brand, obviously John Deere, is going to be able to go in the game for consoles. Same with the Scania, that will probably have to get taken out. The Renault snuck through several times, so that should be okay. Tesco's! 
We've got a Tesco's fuel uh, or petrol station, gas station, whatever you want to call it. Right here. With the pumps. Can't, right ma can't quite make them out, but there you go. No, it's just textures on the outside. Substation for the fuel. Oh, the fuel? Good god, the electric. And no doubt you can probably fill up your vehicles from here. Oh, so the gas quick. The... Uh, not Skoda. What is it? Whatever this car was on Oakfield. It's been debadged now. But funny enough, it still has the Honda rooms. Little... Suzuki! There it is. It's not been debranded in the... Suzuki. But the uh, brand's been taken off the grill there. Up front, you've got a nice little market area down there. Looks beautiful. We'll quickly go check that out because I know a few people want to have a... Okay, there's barbed wire fence. So. We'll have a ganders down there. We'll park over here and take a walk across. Again, more signage. I just check that view up. Absolutely stunning. Fire hydrant point. No fire hydrant. <laughs> it's all good, though. Come yeah, on. I, I really don't think that'd be barbed wire, though. So, the pub. This is where we go to get the Guinness. Finest of Guinness. And you've got pedestrians walking around down here. But it's really cool with the storefronts like that. It's very neat indeed. I'm hearing some squealing tire sound effects too. And of course, Island's telephone box in green. They did paint them green. They were red at uh, one point. Uh, some history behind that. I believe Rainbow Dave would probably be the best person to ask. And it appears you can't park there without causing issues with the neighbours. Uh, so we could go up that way, but we won't because it is a dead end. We've got a church. I did say we was going to go to my f favourite place first. We haven't done that yet. And what's up with that track? Uh, this is uh, another way to get to a field by the looks of it. So you've got a nice track there. Nice, beautiful viaduct looking bridge. There is a steam train that runs down on the lines. I may add a clip of that in at some point. Not a hundred percent yet. May save that for you guys to discover. It is really cool. Nicely modelled. Again, looking at the different landscape as we go along. Lots of grass fields, but then if you're not a fan of all the grass fields, like myself, you can just plough them out under. So we're going on to the island part of the map. So surrounded by water on this little section. Some nice thatched buildings. So we won't go down that road. We'll keep on heading down to the docks. The docks are really, really cool to be honest. Quite like them. Now you notice the lines were white coming in and out of some of the junctions like that. I think it messes up something to do with the road texture pack that Robbie did unfortunately. So the docks, we'll just park up here and walk around. It really is cool around here. So you've got the BGA, several different sale points for grain. Uh, various different pleasure boats, fishing boats, sailing boats, tugboats on the dockyard. And you can't forget the big old barge. Ah, we found a nugget. Way! For hauling your grain off and stuff like that. Uh, the stack is smoking, so I don't know if it's an old steamer. And out in the distance there, you've seen it at the beginning, we did see the ship going by. Animated waves crashing up the side. Looks really cool. So what we'll do is we'll use the magic of creator tools and zoom in using our binoculars at the fishing boat out there easy and you see the reflection in the water that looks really cool actually hey we just missed it there it is so that puts along like I say along with the I think it's a ferry or a shipping container something along those lines lighthouse and house up on the bridge and we oh this thing actually comes around here I didn't know that we've got a narrow boat that goes down the river way uh, as you just told by my reaction there, I didn't actually know, know this thing come through here. So that's really cool. You get to see that thing uh, pretty close up. Smoke texture going along. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So you've got three animated boat traffic, if you like, in the water. As far as I know, there could be even more. There's lots of hidden little things I've found on this map just by running around. There's so many photo points here. I reckon, isn't this from uh, Lone Oak? I think that's from Lone Oak, that's too funny. Rebel there, into the BGA. 
of course, sky textures. Awesome. Okay, so we'll jump back in our truck. Now there is several animated... Again, this will be the PC-only version because it is scripted. Stuff going on on this map, whether it's animals, whether it's objects moving around. Oh, that's Balamora stores. Oh, wonder what the story is there, like I was saying earlier. And the BJ. So we'll come down here. This is sort of the town area. Can come down here. Oh, wait, you can't. It's out of bounds. Uh, but it does seem like there's a road network here, so that's interesting. On the map, he has put the road network, but you are blocked off. And if you want to know where the playable area is, it is the red outline going around the map. So as I try and navigate around here, that actually got me because I thought uh, you could go down there. I didn't see the red line. That's uh, interesting, actually. So we'll head back this way, I guess. Now I'm not too sure where. Oh, well, they don't appear to have collisions. There you go. You got birds flying around. It's really cool. I am getting great optimization on this map as well. Great optimization. Great FPS. I do want to put that out there. Uh, what's that down there? I've not seen this before, so we'll check this out. Oh, actually, yeah, I know where this is. Sort of like a campground area. You've got a Ford that you can go down. Really cool. Go through there. we got... Pretty neat stuff. So that takes you. I've never actually been down there. Up, takes you up by field 33 here. So where else can we go? We'll go up here to the hillside there. Check out some more of the views. So let me know your guys' opinion on this map and what do you guys think of it. As we're going along in the comment section, I will be reading them. This will be up for. Well, the. Uh, video I will put live as soon as. So we've got up there uh, some more buildings, so let's check it out. Nice looking house. Cool, there's a GeForce driver update. I don't think that's coming across on your guys' screen. Yeah, workshop. More nuggets. I'm seeing two of them up here. Three of them. So quite a few golden nuggets. So we'll go over this bridge here and check out some more of the landscape and I think it's actually here. Yes, here it is. So this is what I mean about some of the animated objects. So we'll come down here. We got some uh, ducks here, some big ducks you can wagging their tail, moving their head. We even got a black one over here. Pretty cool. And I believe the narrow but either comes through this side or the next side. So you got stuff like that. And I spotted that pure by accident when I was going through the map while testing. I noticed it. So here is our other yard. So this yard, I would say, is, as far as I know and what people say, more of your traditional Irish yard. Very tight, this one. This one is the pig yard. So nice, no, very nicely laid out area. And of course, we've got the chickens and all of that here too. Silo storage points, and the tipper point is here, which is kind of cool. You have to raise that up. Very similar to Oakfield Farm, where the pig yard is actually. Very similar to that. So that's the, that is that. And we have an, another nice building with the old beams and all that stuff for storage. Very neat indeed. More junk in detail laying around the yard. I like that. you got your seeds and fertilizer and various stuff there. Slurry pit, which is a lot smaller. Uh, we do have an issue over here, but I believe that has been fixed, obviously. And um, he may have actually put up a new version that I, <laughs> I forgot to download, so my bad. But that has been fixed. I do want to make that clear. Okay, another animal. We have a donkey. Donkey. In here, there is a couple of different types of donkey running around. Now, eventually, it will get up to speed. There we go. And it will do that noise and run around. It's comical. And we've got a fox. Uh, the fox is a little big, but hey, it will do. But that runs around. I think it cuts through one of the hedges here and actually eventually runs up the road here. It looks really cool. Probably makes some cool pictures, especially at night and stuff like that. But again, animated stuff. It makes the map come alive. It really does. 
There's stuff like that. I believe giants are going to be adding in with the deer and just general stuff along those lines. So that is your second yard. There are just two yards on this map. You've got a yield sign up here. And a cool little bridge, actually. Uh, with a convert or whatever you call them. I can't, I can't remember for the life of me what you call those now. Going over into another field, and you can see the farmland for sale and the phone number down there. This phone number is fake. I'm just going to put that out there. Over here we do have a beautiful, beautiful waterfall, as you can hear. Pretty loud. Coming down from the top. Uh, can, we get, can we just climb all the way up there? Yeah, we can. It's a real nice section up here. And then you've got that waterfall there. And the train line with golden nuggets. Some, another cool thing about this map, it does have some train cars just sat there. Some oldish looking ones. Hopefully the train comes by, but uh, I doubt it will, unfortunately. I don't know how long of a timer it is, but again, another cool point for scenery, for uh, for taking photos up here. Just this shot alone. Beautiful. Alright, let's run down, find our truck again, and carry on around. Go whitewater rafting over these. And down over here. So now... We have covered that area. If we carried on taking a right turn, obviously it'll be a dead end, so we'll actually have to take a left here and go down this way. And I think, honestly, I have pretty much covered the whole entire map at this point. Uh, we'll take a look through the forest. That is, there's a donkey, apparently, really loud donkey. And we'll take a look at the forest. I'm just trying to work out where to go to get there quickly. Probably through this road. We'll take you through some of the shortcuts. Now the map does have your standard grain types. Nothing crazy for multi-fruit or anything like that as far as I am aware. Which may be a disappointment to some of you. But uh, as far as crop types that are grown in Ireland, it's probably about, the, about as realistic as you're going to get. And we want to be taking a left turn and then a right turn underneath the train bridge. Again, plenty of the signs all over the place, and I'm going to get creamed. Oh yeah! <laughs> Giant's traffic at its finest. Oh, that's too funny. And... And then a left up here. And that's probably where we will wrap it up. I believe there's some horses up here. Yeah, we'll check them out. Tra uh, the train, jeez no, uh, church up there. Playground area, which is pretty cool, nicely done actually. And here is the horse, completely open. No gates here. Very nice kept pony. And you got some of its feed and, I don't know, another golden nugget. And now we'll take the road through the forest, which I, again, I have never done. So this is a first for me, as it is you guys. Like I've been saying, it's definitely a smaller map compared to Oxy's usual s style. And I can't speak for real how well he is interpreted island. Never been there. So I wouldn't know. It's a nice forest road. It's a good sized forest, actually. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't complain at the forestry on this map if you still want to do that uh, roadway going down there. Oh, this is a nice shot. That probably loops around. Puts you out straight into the uh, view of the coastline there. And the docks. So you can see the clip distance stuff coming into effect there. That is optimization. I don't believe you can get up to the lighthouse, but this will take us up to the up to the castle. And no doubt I've missed some areas. If I have, then Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We almost went way off the road. No doubt Oxy will yell at me and go, You missed stuff! And it'll be no different to usual. So down here we've got Oxygen David's Tasty Burgers. I heard that it is very rife with food poisoning, so I personally would not touch this place with a 10-foot pole. And we'll come down to the castle. What castle is this? Does it say? 
I'm not even going to try and pronounce that castle. I know Dave pronounced it perfectly the other day. To be expected, Dave is Irish. You go along here. Uh, this is honestly your standard farms and castle, but it does have the Irish flag. I'd love to see that somewhere else on the map, somewhere nice and proud to show that it is Ireland. It's something I actually haven't said to Oxy about, but that is the castle, and I think this is a perfect spot to wrap up the uh, video here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my first look. Let me know in the comments what you think of the map, and no doubt you will see uh, Oxy in there answering some of your guys' comments. I believe it is coming for consoles. I don't know when or anything about release dates. Also check out Rainbow Dave Gaming. He will also be doing a video first look on this as well and it will be his first first look on a map of this statue if you like. So he'll probably be a little bit excited. Till next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you next time. See ya.